Yo and welcome to a new video here on my channel and there. Today we're gonna react Frosty vs Biscuit Grand Beatbox Battle 2021 World League Finals. And don't forget, after the reaction, we're gonna react to my live hot clip because I also was live there. And after the battle, I took fastly my GoPro out and showing like who I was gonna think win this battle or better who would be the winner from the GBB21 loop station. So be excited and yeah. I don't want to talk too much, let's go straight into this video. First up to the stage, representing the United States of America, online champion of the world, give it up for Bizkit! My favorite. Versus representing the UK in the Cone Gang. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Beatbox Battle Online Champion makes some noise for Frosty. Cone Gang, Frosty. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here once again. It's time for the Grand Beatbox Battle. Grand Final for first place in the Loop Station category. Ladies and gentlemen, Warsaw, are you ready? In this Grand Beatbox Battle 2021 World League Final, we have Bizkit from the United States of America. Versus Frosty we were so from the excited. UK. Bizkit ranked higher, ranked first overall, and chose Frosty to go first. Two rounds back and forth to find out who the champion is. One more time, give him the energy to the stage. Make some noise! Frosty, it's on you. First round. You already know what to do. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. Two, one, beatbox. Don't look so happy. Yeah, it's good.
Mm-hmm. Ah, he don't look so happy, but he should be happy because it was it was a good With round. The response, Bizkit, it's on you. You already know what to do. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one crowd in three. Two, one, beatbox. Discord game represent. Ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> the baseline so strong. Let's analyze the first round, starting with Frosty. You can see in the first 20 seconds that Frosty get, I guess, a bad feedback. I mean, since the beginning, I'm trying to get in touch with his round. But what I don't like is that you can see and you can hear that he's not happy with this round. And this brings me out a little bit down, which I really don't like. I can see that he is that he's not staying so much for his round or better for the quality which he's giving us. I mean the structure, the transition, the drop, everything is a really good idea. But exactly in the first drop you can see or hear my opinion that he's not really happy for for the thing which he is giving us.
as you can see the second drop he's more there for us the drop which he's giving us he's more happier with it and this also gives me the good feeling so i like the second drop also more than the first drop And you don't need to forget this is the final and such negative emotion of feelings is not good. Overall he should be really happy because everything is good. It isn't a total disaster. The only negative thing which I can say is that with his reaction to the build up, with the reaction from the first drop and everything at the beginning, he just put everything down. And this is for me a big, big minus point. The second half from his round was really good and he comes back, shows the energy, shows the feeling and overall it was not bad. Let's move on with Biscuit first round. What I really like in Biscuit's round is the kick at the beginning. Hard. Basie straight in our face and also you can hear in the build up he also got a bad feedback the higher notes which he's recording sounds so loud and so disturbed for my ear oh he got right there also a really really bad feedback also the part where singing for me it sounds so empty I don't know why, but the singing part, it this really doesn't fit so in. Sounds really, really empty. I don't know if it is also because of the system or I don't really know. But the drop, the first drop, holy! Such an amazing drop. Also live on the stage, I can remember it was so sh randomly shaking the bass through the crowd i can't describe this but the drop was amazing i like this drop really really and also the backflip part i mean it is a big plus point because the entertainment level is there He got the attention from the crowd, he hyped the crowd, everything good for him. And also what I want to say is, I mean it has nothing to do with the round, but the reaction from the judge is so boring. Would I be a judge, I would not sit there and doing like this. I would stand up, jump, screaming and hype everything because this was from both an amazing round. And I don't understand why they can just sit and chill while the whole crowd is jumping screaming shaking biscuit doing a backflip i really don't understand this but anyways to finish biscuits round after the backflip i mean it was everything just to get the time done trying to hold the hype from the crowd trying to hold the energy the lever from the crowd and he did it really really well at the end and yeah let's sum up this battle I would give Frosty for his first round a 8.5 out of 10 and I would give Biscuit for his first round a 9.2 out of 10. Because as I said I like the first job and the base and the structure both got their problems on the stage but it's, it's sad that this happens in the final but yeah. Anyways, let's move on with the second round. Let's go. Round two, we head back to the UK. Frosty, it's on you. You already know what to do. I'll say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. Two, one, beatbox. Uh, uh. <clears throat> okay, he's trying. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, I can remember. Mm. The non-drop round. <laughs> Last round of the finals. Crowd, are you with us? Give him up. Some love. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Bizkit, it's on you. You already know what to do. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. Let's get it cracking in three. Two, one, you folks. Look at their all of you channels to react to this. Ah, and the last greatest slash is the culture. Because the same 
dead scraps with the vultures. Disregard the loop, I'm scratching for the limelight. Loop star, and I'm feeling like a loop soldier. Woo! Hit you with intensity, complexity, king of the groove. Gonna do me, I got no empathy. Hit him with rhythm and break him, no one better be testing me. Used to be an outcast, now I am exemplary. If that looper, bitch, I'm that looper. No second device. You thought that you were stronger, but no dice. <laughs> Good counter. Let's analyze the second round, beginning with Frosty. I mean, I can't really say so much to his round because this was a non-drop round. And I mean, it is a little bit risky to use a non-drop round in a final because I can guarantee you, and I also was one of these people live, we don't know what he was doing because his round was so complicated to understand. I don't get any feelings, any contact with the round I was like staying and thinking like what is he doing and also not me I guess more than 70% from the crowd also didn't understand this and made the judge understand this but we the crowd we didn't understand this round and this is really 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 risky for a final that's the only thing what I can say to this round but overall the quality, the idea, the creativity, it was really good. But as I said, live on the stage, this wasn't a good choice. Yeah, so let's move on to Biscuit second round. And I mean, the build up so dark, mystical, like really, really good for catching the attention from the crowd. And also the part where he was switching the melody and starting with the lyrics. You know it? Got one side saying that I made it, other side telling me I'm underrated. And after the singing part, what I really like is the transition. He was doing it only with his mouth. And this was also a amazing part from Biscuit. It hits different and it is overall a different style to cat it drop, which I really really like. And also the crowd. And as you can see the reaction, it was worth. so nice, no second device. You thought that you were stronger, but no dice. And I mean the rest, the last lyrics part, the last drop, we know this before. And we also was knowing like this gonna hit us so hard. And yes, it did. All the life on the stage, it was crazy to hear. So let's move on to the summer because I don't need to say so much to this battle. To sum up these rounds, I will give Frosty for his second round. I will say also 8.5 out of 10 and Biscuit for his second round I will give him a 9.5 out of 10 so for me clearly the winner is Biscuit with no ask because he hit the round perfectly and also with feedback problems don't forget this Let's move on to the final vote from the judge. Let's go.
ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Frosty. Don't do this. Coming in first place, Grand Beatbox Battle 2021, Loop Station Edition. Make some noise for Biscuit! Yeah. U.S. So guys, I need to say sorry because I just was recording the vote at the end, so I don't give right my vote, but I can tell you I was giving my vote after this battle straight to Biscuit. But anyways, let's see my reaction to the final vote. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Coming in first place, Grand Beatbox Battle 2021. Loop Station Edition. Yeah, this was really, really amazing. But I have to tell you something. After the last day at the GBB, I was going to the 7 to Smoke after party and I talked with so many beatboxer and one of the beatboxer told me that he talks with the judge and the decision from the final round was really, really close. It was a 3 to 2 decision and I was asking him like that this couldn't be real because I mean, I was, I was thinking for a, like 4-1 or 5-0 and not a 3-2 close decision. Overall it was a really really nice battle left on the stage, it was really amazing. Since day one I was hoping that Biscuit is gonna win this. But yeah, I'm gonna say Loop Stage winner will be... I'm gonna say Biscuit. Yeah, I'm gonna say Biscuit. I'm hoping that Biscuit is gonna destroy because he has some new, some cool tracks. And right now I'm really happy that he win this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you like me as my person, then I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel, if you leave a like and write something in the comment. You also can write in the comment which battle should I next react to. You are free my comment, write what you want and yeah. I wish you all a nice day and see you in the next video. Ciao.